Good evening, North America. We are coming to you from the comfort of our own homes and into yours as the Championship Dart Circuit is proud to present the CDC Championship League Canadian Premier Match of the Week presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. Hello again, everyone. I'm Colin Cosell, and I thank you for joining us here in our first streaming match of Week 4, and it is a big one. We hope you enjoyed that sweet, sweet, lovely music leading into this match, but things are about to get a lot more tumultuous. We've got Matt Campbell. The Ginger Ninja taking on the mighty Kylie Edmonds. And as we cross the midway point of the season, there's a lot at stake. But let's take a look at upcoming premiere matches tomorrow night. We've got Cheney and Millar. And then next week, we return to the USA Darts and Champ Darts uh, outlets. It's Pulio and Cheney, Brenneman and Edmonds. And then week six, we'll begin with Campbell and Long. But in the meantime, let's take a look at standing. It's Jim Long right now, six points. He is leading in the Canadian division, and then it becomes even more important as we take a look down the standings in Canada as Matt Campbell and Kylie Edmonds tied at four points apiece. That makes tonight very, very important. A winner outright will get two points. If they split, it will be a point apiece, but they will catch Jim Long, however fleeting that may be. Kiefer Durham with two points, Sean Brenneman with one, as well as Kerry Way and Ross Snook trying to get off the snide this week. We'll see if he can do so. Now let's move south of the Canadian border into the United States. Gary Mossett with six points, followed by Millar and Lindbergh, four points apiece. Lobby with two points. Chuck Puglio and Larry Butler played last night. These graphics were developed over the weekend. So this is at the conclusion of week three, but they both split. So both of them have a point apiece integral because the top four in each division will advance in Joe Chaney, who you will see tomorrow night, looking to get off the snide as well. But as for tonight's matchup, we've got tonight, who needs tomorrow? We've got tonight, babe, so why don't you stay? Matt Campbell, 30 years old, hailing from and currently living in Hamilton, Ontario, taking on Kylie Edmonds, a 39-year-old, currently lives in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And, of course, Matt Campbell, ranked number four in the two-year order of merit. Edmonds, 21 in the two-year order of merit. And uh, there's a little bit of backstory between these two, and we'll get to that in just a moment as well. But in the meantime, why don't we get to know tonight's athletes, so to speak. Matt Campbell and Kylie Edmonds, as I will call them, to their respective spots so I can talk to them for just a moment. Matt and Kylie, if you are ready for me, I am ready for you. There they are. Kylie, it feels like forever since I've seen you. Uh, I can't imagine much has changed in the past week, but if it has, you know, keep me posted. What's happening in your world? Oh, sorry, Kyle. We lost your sound for just a moment. Can you repeat that, please? Uh, same thing. Just playing darts. And uh, how's how's the six year old doing? How are how are things advancing in this this time of stay at home? Uh, she's doing good. Busy. Excellent. All right. Well, keep it short and sweet, Kylie. I know you're sick of hearing my voice. I'm I'm so sorry. Um, and now Matt Campbell, who I have not seen. Uh, in a while, I haven't spoken to you basically face to face, so to speak, uh, since your uh, your performance at the PDC World Championships in December. Uh, how are things going for you? What's uh, what's the pandemic been like for you? What's your experience, and uh, and how are you doing personally? Yeah, I'm doing all right personally. Uh, out of work, so pretty much all there is to do is darts and video games. So pretty much it. Excellent. But everyone's uh, happy, healthy, safe, and so on. Oh yeah, how about with you? I mean, I cannot complain. We're uh, we're safe. We're healthy. We're uh, we're alive and 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 kicking and looking to uh, eventually uh, get back to some normalcy. But part of that normalcy is the ability to bring darts to everyone at home. And so, gentlemen, I'll let you guys uh, throw a couple more warm up darts. But we're going to get this match underway. Thank you for your time. Briefly, um, sorry to you know chew your ears off like I do. Uh, just so you know, at home, Kylie won the cork that was done in the players lounge in a uh, in an undisclosed location, uh, but Matt is hosting. So Matt will be on the left on your Dart Connect screen. Kylie Edmonds will be on the right because he won the cork. And to all of you at home, this is going to be a lot of fun because Jim Long is still clinging to a, po a two point lead over to tonight's competitors. They will be playing a race to eight legs, best of 14 with two points on the line in the event. There is a seven, seven tie. They will get one point apiece. But if that is the case, neither of them will catch 
Jim Long. So this is probably the most important match we've had on the live stream this season as we cross the midway point of the CDC Championship League. Again, the beautiful pivot by the higher-ups in the CDC, the Championship Dart Circuit, who were able to find a way to bring you live sports, one of the few venues to do so in the world. And we've got it for you right here. So we thank you guys so much for joining us at home. We hope you're uh, you're alive, well, safe, and uh, and healthy. Kylie Edmonds, he lost his stream for a second. He is back. So, gentlemen, whenever you're ready to go, we are ready to have you play. I'm good, Matt. You ready? Yes, sir. Shoot well, all the best. You too. Okay. And to you guys as well from my little broadcast booth in Long Island, shoot well. We hope uh, to have a great match. Just a little bit of background here. These two have never met outside of the Continental Cup final weekend where Edmonds ousted Campbell in the quarterfinals in 2019. Edmonds would go on to lose the next round. Edmonds, by the way, was an NDFC Athlete of the Year in 2016, while Campbell is a two-time CDC event winner and a PDC World Championship qualifier this past December, courtesy of his performance here in the CDC in the 2019 Tour. Now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, once again, we want to thank our sponsors, Magic Darts Incorporated and uh, USA Dart Productions, Kevin Malafon and L. David Irie, bringing this to you in your homes tonight and all of you who are watching on your phones, tablets, smart TVs, or just on Dart Connect. Enjoy the match and the, uh, the, the beauty of having something like this where the players, you can actually hear them, you hear them interact with each other, and you hear their reactions as well. So earmuffs, kids. Let's get this party started, gentlemen. Kylie Edmonds leading off after winning the cork. Once again, I'm Colin Cosell, and I want to thank you all for joining us tonight. And before we get far into this, I want to give a huge shout out to one of our founding fathers of the CDC, Mr. Jeff Good, who turned years old today. We don't know really because he's defying age. Uh, but happy birthday to our very own Jeff Good, that handsome son of a gun who's living La Vida Loca down in Costa Rica. God bless him. What a fantastic human being. Uh, love him to pieces. Kylie Edmonds opening with back-to-back -to -back tons. Campbell with the 96 to open. There's a 1-3-4 out of Campbell. Campbell, of course, shooting his 22-gram chameleons by 180, but his signature set is coming soon. His preferred double, according to Matt Campbell, is the one he hits. And isn't that true for all of us? 57. The old Heinz 57 for Campbell there. Edmonds shooting his 21-gram Kylie Edmonds signature by Phoenix. 97. And a 97 from Edmonds there. As we've noticed, these matches. Oh, hold on. 174. There's a 174. Gorgeous darts out of Campbell. I was about to say this format takes them out of their comfort zone. But alas, Campbell has a way of shutting me down before I can even make a fool of myself. Edmonds putting a little bit of pressure on Campbell, but now looking for the one he hits. That would be his favorite, looking to walk it into the double top or walk it sideways. Third dart. There's the third dart. So Campbell breaks Edmonds in the very first leg. Again, it is a race to eight, best of 14. In the event of a tie, they will get one point apiece, but neither of those guys want this right now. They, they want to win outright and get those two points. 140. Nice 140 there from Campbell as we're looking for our first maximum. Hi, Anthony Eugenia. I miss you, man. 96 out of Kylie right there. Fifty nine. Campbell with a stellar opening round, a lackluster second round here in the second leg. Plenty of darts to be thrown. 43. And a 43 out of Kylie Edmonds just to keep things neck and neck, so to speak. Nine. 
98. There is a 98 out of Matt Campbell. So, again, these guys are out of their comfort zone. They're also a part of the production team, if you haven't joined us before. Uh, the players themselves are a part of the production. They are setting up their cameras, uh, the lighting, everything, so we can bring this to you in as clear and crisp of a production as possible in 100. pure HD. There's a ton out of Campbell. Brings him down to an out. Kylie with love a maximum right now is not going to get as that one falls into the single five. Six. Get your kicks, Kylie Edmonds. All right, Matt Campbell looking for our first high out. As of right now, it is 40. Ain't going to happen. 88. Ooh, there's a nice 88, though. So Campbell down to the double eight. Edmonds. Oh, he wants a maximum. And a maximum he gets indeed, in the words of the great Anthony Eugenia. That's a 180. Now Matt Campbell trying to rain on that parade. Double four. Second dart. And the second dart does it indeed. You heard it right out of the horse's mouth. Again, one of these beautiful caveats of these broadcasts is you get to hear the players react. It's not just about body language and reading their lips. It is about... Hearing them directly. Luckily, they cannot hear me. Chuck Pulio is watching right now again. Chuck pipes Pulio. 140. A fine human being, a wonderful shot. And he represented the CDC and the United States at the PDC World Championship in 2018. That honor was bestowed to Darren Young in 2019. In the Canadian level, that was Jim Long in 2018 and your very own 58 Matt Campbell right there just a few months ago, feeling like it was at least 20 years, but the effects of the pandemic. Speaking of the pandemic, favorite snacks of these two gentlemen. Matt Campbell loves himself some pandemic quarantine brownies. Kylie Edmonds. Loves himself some potato chips. There's a gorgeous ton, 33 out of Matt Campbell. Leaves him a 178 clinic. For those of you at home or not at this level yet, that is knowing your outs, knowing your numbers. Kylie Edmonds now puts some pressure on Matt Campbell, who is up 2-0. 105. One oh five from Campbell. Leaves him 65. You can imagine the double top being his favorite tonight so far. He's going to go single bull, double top. There's a single. Semi-good marker. 25. Just a bit outside. So 25 score for Cable. Edmonds now. As Cable broke and held. Edmonds not going to be able to get the out. The 58 leaves him 48, so a 16 double 16 or 8 double top if he gets it. Matt Campbell now with three at the double top. Oh, an ugly dart right there. The three, there it is, double 16. Eight. Ay, Dios mío, para Espanol. That is no bueno. Kylie Edmonds now, 48. He's going eight double top. There's a 20, double 10. Where is it? And the... Uh, Exasperation out of Edmonds there, as you could hear now. Edmonds is hoping that Campbell will not hit the double four. Third dart. Third dart indeed. So Matt Campbell off to a torrid start. My goodness. Up three legs, two breaks, and a hold of throw. If he can hold again, my goodness, a strangle hold he'll have. But no matter what the score is, as I imagine Kylie will get into his groove, Got some work to do to do it, but he is, man, up to the job. He is up to the task, and what a way to start off. But even if it is 7-0, which I don't anticipate it will be, but if it is and I am wrong, which I have been many times before, we will still take a break after that seventh leg. So Pulio and Larry Butler last night did, in fact, have a tie, our second one, I believe, maybe, I don't know. I've had a lot going on, I'll be honest with you. I'm exhausted, but I can still talk, and that's good. But uh, they both got their first points in the CDC Championship League, this virtual league, bringing you live sports, one of the few 
venues, outlets to do so. 93. So you're welcome. A 93 there out of Matt Campbell. Thank you to Peter Cetera, Anthony Eugenia, L. David Irene, nice and Jeff Good, the birthday boy, who were uh, able to make that quick pivot and put this lead together. You've got the seven top shooters from the United States. Not the top, but seven of the top. I mean, let's face it, they're all amazing. But seven of the top shooters in the United States and seven of the top shooters in Canada playing seven weeks of round robin once against each other. There's a nice ton out of Kylie Edmonds that will leave him an out. Same cannot be said for Matt Campbell. But at uh, the end of those seven weeks, there will be divisional finals, divisional play, so to speak, amongst all the uh, the players in the U.S. and the Canada, the Canadian divisions. Oh, there's a gorgeous ton 40, a double four awaiting Kylie Edmonds. If Matt Campbell can't achieve this two dart out, and that leaves him 68. Stays right on it. Double bull. 61. Oh, there's a single. Kylie Edmonds looking to get off the snide. And then I'll continue my rant. Double two. Nuthouse. <laughs> Not happening now. Matt Campbell looking to take a real stranglehold here in the fourth leg. There's the nine. Double eight. Second dart. Like it, it, it offended him in some way or fashion. Pounds that double eight. Matt Campbell tearing out of the gate. My goodness. Like a horse with a hot poker right in the... So now Kylie Edmonds looking to get some big rounds here. As I was saying, after those divisional finals in the U.S. and Canadian divisions, the top two will square off in a battle of North America, the United States versus Canada for the first and maybe, hopefully, only CDC Championship League. And all other matches can be followed on DCTV. We got to give a shout out to Dark Connect. Proud of what Greg and Dave have done, just unbelievable work, have become the One forefront hundred. of scoring around the world. No chalk, no marker. Just, you know, using your tablets or your phones. Matt Campbell with that beautiful light ring set up. Now here we've got our chalkboard, our chalkboard set up. So you can see the scoring in real time. James Eugenia with a hashtag ginger. I like it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. 99. Adjustment there on the third dart. 99 leaves Campbell and out. Kylie Edmonds, sounds of exasperation. Perhaps a little bit of revenge darts coming out of Matt Campbell tonight, keeping in mind. Edmonds was the one who ended his his run 40, to the Continental 40. Cup just six, seven months ago. Who knows anymore? Calendars don't count. Anyone. You and me both, James. Second dart. There's the first and second dart. Matt Campbell. Like a bat out of hell. What did Kylie ever do to him? It's not even fair. It's not right. Matt Campbell has broken and held throw for every leg here in the first five, entering the sixth leg. Matt Campbell brings himself down to the dispensary. Now Kylie Edmonds... There's a big round, a nice ton three, four out of Kylie Edmonds. Just what the doctor ordered. He's hoping it's not too little too late. If it, if it, if it is seven nil at the break, all Kylie can hope for is a tie. But look at this, Kylie Edmonds. Kylie Edmonds pulling the old twisted sister. We're not going to take it. Matt Campbell, does he have an answer? Ooh, beautiful first. Yeah, on the second. 130. 
Oh, that third dart. Diabolical brings him down to 250. But Edmonds in cruise control right now here in the sixth leg. He is down two and out. Not the prettiest, but it is if you hit it. And really, that's all that matters. 100. There's a 100 out of Matt Campbell. Now, Campbell shooting 84 on the match. Feels like should be higher. 55. Am I the only one? Let me know in your comments. Matt Campbell now. Wanted that Jacob's Ladder kind of approach. 70. Double bowl, trip 20, double top. Kylie Edmonds needs it. Not now, but right now. Oh, he needed that trip 19. Oh, the huge manatee. Campbell. Fat, fat, skinny. Oh, that's close. 40. Oh, that was close, but no cigar. Kylie Edmonds now. He needs this desperately. Kylie. Come on, Kylie. Walk it in there. Throw the leash on and walk that dog. Double six Whoa. at 3 p.m. And he does not get it. Campbell Perfect. takes one dart. Sure. Woo! The Ginger Ninja coming out like a Wu-Tang Clan film. This is unbelievable. Kylie Edmonds, the side that we're all feeling for him right now. We know he's expecting better out of himself. Sixty-one. Those are frustrated darts. You can feel it. You can sense it. Maybe, no matter what happens here in this leg. Oh man, a ton of forty out of Matt Campbell. Relentless. Just a slight lag makes the darts happen a lot quicker. My goodness, this is just rapid pace. It's rapid fire. And you know what? I like it. Once again, I'm Colin Cosell. This is the CDC Championship League, the Canadian streaming premier match of the week here in week four. All that's at stake are two points to tie Jim Long, at least temporarily, and tie for first place. As we approach the 300 viewership here on the Facebook feed, again, a to Z darts.com, the Magic Darts thread, their Facebook page streaming, as well as their YouTube. And that will be the same thing for tomorrow night as Joe Cheney takes on Jeremiah Millar. Matt Campbell, no rush, no need. He is in cruise control. We will have a break. Right after this leg, no matter what. <laughs> Earmuffs, children. Matt Campbell, the fierce competitor, not thrilled with those darts, knowing full well. He has ample time. Not anymore. A little bit of pressure. Good marker. Even better marker. 16. Terrible third, and I can say that because Matt has just been en fuego tonight. Oh, Kylie Edmonds so desperately needed that third dart. The doubles are not showing for Kylie Edmonds. Matt Campbell now. Just inside. Second dart. Second dart indeed. We've heard that so many times out of Matt Campbell. Break. Gentlemen, with that, we are going to be taking a break. It is 7-0, unprecedented for the live stream. Matt Campbell has been absolutely break, terrorizing the boards. Yes, gentlemen, we are taking a break right now. <laughs> Kylie, <laughs> as you're here in the background, desperately wants this break. Will he be able to center himself and get back into the darts we know he's capable of? Or will Matt Campbell make it a... Well, the fastest stream we've ever had. Will it be the first schneid we've had here on the live stream? That remains to be seen. But in the meantime, we've got a uh, we, we've got to turn to our sponsor, 
Many of you are unaware that Magic Darts has its own line of darts and dartboards. Well, this week they are featuring their colonial brand established in 2016. It was originally created to offer the public an inexpensive line of darts that were still made with good quality tungsten. Great, if I may say myself. A brand has evolved a lot over the years. Today, they have nearly 100 different barrels under the Colonial line, in-store and online at a to zdarts.com. The second version of the Colonial steel tip dart board is available now. In fact, the board is even featured on a mouse pad that Magic Dart sells, so you can find that in their store. The brand has recently expanded to include higher and signature barrels for the Magic Darts sponsored players. So go to visit a to zdarts.com, check out their boards, check out their darts, and of course, check out their blog where you can find such great articles from such great authors, authors, at authors as Dax Mona, including many others. For all your dart needs, go to a to zdarts.com. That's right, Magic Darts Incorporated. Not only our sponsor, but they're providing the live stream tonight here on Facebook as well as YouTube. Back in the in, into the second half, or at least in the case of Kylie Edmonds, we're hoping it is the second half. In the case of Matt Campbell, my goodness, the ginger ninja, his hair looks like it's on fire, and tonight his darts have been as well. So, gentlemen, we'll have you get back to the hockey. We're going to get things back underway. We're hoping the break gets a little bit of uh, that Kylie fire underneath him. Otherwise, Matt Campbell. It's uh, just just been terrorizing the board. He has not been missing his doubles. The averages do not indicate exactly how well Matt has been throwing thus far. Matt has just been tremendous. And Kylie, not too far behind him, has just not been able to find the double. Did the break give them that opportunity? We will find out right now. Gentlemen, it is time to get back to the hockey. It's time to get back into the action. And uh, we're not allowed to play favorites as broadcasters, but Kylie, come on, man. Everyone's pulling for you. We know you can do it. Time to get back into it. And we thank all of you at home for watching. Again, tomorrow night we will have Joe Chaney, the Chainsaw, 
taking on Jeremiah Millar, who we've seen on this stream before. Joe Chaney, I believe, will make, be uh, making his debut. So, uh, Matt Campbell, Kylie Edmonds, are you gentlemen ready to continue this match? Yes, they are. Matt Campbell, open with a 55. My apologies. So there's a good start for Edmonds, at least, getting that ton. He's going to have to break Matt Campbell. 134. And again, for all CDC information, especially the Championship League details, go to champdarts.com or www.dartconnect.com to watch DCTV, get updates on all your favorite players. You guys know what you're doing. 94. Once again, a very happy birthday to our very own brother and founding father, Jeff Good. If it's your birthday out there, happy birthday to you as well. 100. Very little room for Matt Campbell to find that third dart in the trip 20, but he found it nonetheless. He's now down to an out. Campbell, 118 to win the night and get our first 8-0 on the stream. Well, that first start let us know that was not going to be the case. So is Campbell going to go 18 double bull? Is he feeling like that's the kind of way he wants to end the night? Let's all find out together. No, he was going 12. Well, that was great. That's fascinating darts indeed. 56. I mean, rather 52. Leaves him 16, and the third dart does it. That was unbelievable. I didn't even get a chance to get my math right before Matt Campbell knocked that down. 8-0. If you haven't had dinner yet, well, you're going to have an early dinner, especially around the West Coast. Gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for uh, being a part of this. As always, I ask you to step into your spots. Kylie. Hey, if if we uh, if we may, uh, you it, it was. I mean, your averages weren't too far off. The doubles were in falling. Uh, what what were you feeling? What were you sensing out there tonight? What was your take? Oh, I'm not feeling too good right now. Uh, couldn't hit a double. Story of my life, actually, in dirt. So, same old. We know you're so, more than uh, capable of hitting doubles. Um, how are you looking to regroup going into uh, to week five? I mean, I can obviously your disappointment is tangible, but uh, uh, what what what's your plan to regroup? And obviously, I hope you feel better. By the way, uh, no, I'll be fine. I'm still in good shape, so I'm not really worried. Like to got one leg would have been nice, but that's the way she was. Well, Kylie, we appreciate you being part of the stream. Go take care of yourself. Get well. Get better, and we will uh, we'll see you on DC TV next week. Uh, we wish you all the best, Matt Campbell. On the other hand, uh, first night on the stream. A lot of people, uh, you know, have mentioned it's it's been tough uh, adjusting to this live kind of format and everything. You, on the other hand, have completely defied that. I know you're being blinded by your own ring light right there, but uh, uh, tell me uh, what what was working for you tonight? How are you feeling? I mean, obviously doubles were working for you, but I mean, uh, you went in this completely fearless. Was it kind of a home field advantage for you? Like, tell, walk me through this evening because you just went, you just destroyed Kylie. Well, I wouldn't say destroyed. Like, I got lucky here and there with him missing darts in four or five legs. Going into the break, 7 nothing was, uh, you know, not how it should have been with it. It could have been 4-3, something like that. But I figure I got lucky this time, and better lucky than good. See, you're the consummate gentleman, and I'm the, uh, the D-bag broadcaster who's just trying to add some uh, explosion to the broadcast by saying you destroyed him by score. You did again, yeah, Kylie did have his so. chance at doubles, but you were able to, you were able to capitalize on it. Um, but I mean, the doubles were, were flying for you. It, it, it seemed like you were very comfortable at the hockey. Well, yeah, thanks. Uh, I was surprised with the doubles. Normally, uh, lately my doubles have been just fucking garbage. So it is what it is. <laughs> Well, you know what? 
I, uh, I, sorry, it was, <laughs> I don't know why I just blushed on, like Colin, an expletive has never been said in front of me. Was that? I said, be professional here. Come on. <laughs> okay, Mr. F bomb telling me to be professional. <laughs> all right. Well, I, uh, all right. I see where this is going. Um, well, now, as of right now, you are, uh, this is a pivotal week here in the CDC Championship League. Um, you know, we're mid crossing the midway point. Uh, as of right now, you're tied with Jim Long. Uh, looking ahead at, at your future, your uh, remaining uh, three weeks of competition, uh, what are you doing to, uh, to prepare? Uh, are there any nerves or are you feeling like you're in the driver's seat now? Um, I can't really say there's nerves, but uh, I'm pretty much just going to sit back and watch the rest of the CDC streams and keep an eye on the matches and see how far away I am in points. Um, looking forward to play Jim Long, who is in first right now, but and that will be the telltale sign. 100% correct. Uh, Matt, thank you for your time. Uh, you look tremendous. Your hair is perfect for TV. Like you were just TV ready tonight. You, you look, you look amazing and your darts were absolutely brilliant. Uh, take care, stay safe, uh, go and enjoy some brownies. You've deserved them and, uh, <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for, for being a part of this broadcast. We'll see you uh, on no, the next no. one. Cheers. Excellent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Campbell with the first Eight nothing victory on the live stream. Just an unbelievable performance. And that just goes to the old adage trebles for show, doubles for dough. We ask that you join us tomorrow night, of course. Joe Cheney versus Jeremiah Millar. As always, all streams start at 8 p.m. Eastern. And this week will be on Magic Darts once again. That is going to do it for tonight's match. I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in, sharing, chatting and enjoying one of the few live sporting events available in the world during these strange times. We hope to see you tomorrow night for tomorrow night's match, of course, on the YouTube and Facebook streams. And as always, it will begin at 8 p.m. Another quick reminder to check out the new blog on adzdarts.com, as well as their new colonial boards and their darts. Go to the site, click on their blog, check on shops. You know, you know what to do. Just go to adzdarts.com. And we'd like to thank our sponsor, Magic Darts Incorporated, and uh, for everything they do, and for Dark Connect for providing the scoring. This broadcast was brought to you by USA Darts Prod uh, Productions Incorporated, uh, courtesy of Kevin Malenfant and our super producer, L. David Irit. Uh, all of the descriptions, pictures, and everything you have seen here tonight in all of our images are strictly prohibited without consent. Just putting that out there. On behalf of Matt, on behalf of Kylie, and our amazing crew whose names don't rhyme or uh, don't make sense or don't come from Canada or the United States, doesn't matter. They're all behind the scenes in the championship dart circuit. I'm Colin Cosell saying happy birthday, Jeff Good. And to the rest of you, stay home, stay safe, and take care of one another. And we'll see you in less than 24 hours. Good night, guys. <laughs>